Hi, this is Mark from Rightline Trading. It is uh, November 7th, 2014. I have not made a video for a while. And uh, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a video that kind of sort of sums up our trading for the whole week. Um, uh, I'm just going to show you the entries for today though. Now on the ES, we, did, we just had nothing. Um, the market opened right here. Now we did have an entry here. We were just we were just busy elsewhere um, on other markets. And this entry here was oversold. We wouldn't have taken that short. And then we had this entry right here. So we had two good entries on the ES actually. Which would, which would have uh, made us some uh, very nice profit. This would have gone for two and a half points. And this would have gone for two and a quarter points. But we didn't take any trades on the ES, and I believe it was because we were in other trades. Now the Russell... today we had uh, three trades yes we had this break retracement and the move down for five We had the same thing here. We had the break. We had the retracement. This gave us a lot of heat on the trade. Didn't stop us out. Now, now the trade, the trade um, went six and then stopped us out um, on our five tick trailer, and then eventually went for um, for ten ticks, of which of which we got six out of. And then for the third trade, we had a really, really nice trade. Again, it was a lot of chop. Took the retracement out here. Um, and actually, this should be here. And uh, you can see that we took a lot of heat on this trade. Um, in fact, uh, it came one tick away from stopping us out. Um, but we hung in there. Uh, it came back nine on us and then dropped 18 ticks uh, for an 18 tick winner. So on the Russell, we were plus 18, um, plus 10, of which we got six, and plus five. There were two great trades on the ES. And then on crude... And these two trades, these were actually our first two trades. My first trade this morning was a loser. But it really wasn't a loser, unfortunately. There's the break. There's the retracement. And um, it came back five, and, and I uh, closed the trade. And then it came back about seven, and then went down for a winner. So uh, I took a five-tick loss on it. But then I re-entered and got nine ticks. If I would have stayed in the trade, this pl minus five plus nine would have turned to one trade for plus 11, and I would have had a two-target winner. Um, I was just very concerned about this reversal candle and uh, closed the trade. So that was the only loser we took. And then crude was very, very choppy. We had a very choppy market today with a lot of potential for stopouts. So for today, we had um, five trades. We had four winners and one loser. On the Ross, we were plus five and plus 10, of which we got six, plus 18, two targets. Crude, we had that minus five. And then we came back with plus nine. Uh, yes, no trades. Net ticks were 38. Net equity was $680.
Now, we, ha we had a, you know, it was a hard week. Um, there was no trading on Wednesday, unfortunately, because um, I had to, um, I had to be somewhere at the last second and couldn't uh, arrange for somebody else to come into the room. So in four trading sessions, we were pretty much trading sideways until today when we hit the $680, and that gave us uh, a weekly net equity of 677.50. Now we had 15 winners and seven losers trading at uh, uh, a win percentage of 68%, which is way down from from uh, our normal win percentage of about 85%. But this was not an easy week to trade, and we still ground out um, uh, close to $700 of profit. Um, so that's the way to do it. I mean, I mean, just stay profitable week to week to week, uh, and you're going to wind up making very, very nice money in the market. Now, the auto trader, I'm not, I didn't want to scale yet because it's still trading, uh, and it could change the net equity. You could get two winners um, for 300 each, and they could be worth 600 bucks. So um, we'll post that to the website today, uh, and you'll, you'll get the, uh, the the net equity for the um, for the auto. But this is how we did on the um, um, for the trading room, um, six hundred seventy-seven dollars. Now we're we're, we're 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 creating a brand new product, uh, a Ninja Trader um, add-on, uh, a really really powerful um, super dome, um, which uh, we're going to be rolling out very shortly. Um, you can use it as an as an adjunct to to the Ninja Trader uh, Superdome you're using. It will communicate with it on your computer, and it's really amazing. I um, mean, it it, it, will, it will give you an, an entry at candle close, whether you're trading time tick or range or Renko. Um, it'll allow you to close a trade on a candle close. You can configure your stops. It's really um, a terrific additional product to the Ninja Trader Superdome uh, that work in conjunction. Um, so that's it for the week. Now we invite everybody into the trading room. Let me give you our, in our information. Whoops, wrong. I'd like to think that we do, but that's not what I want you to see. Uh, I'd like you to sign up for a free trial to our live trading room. If you go to www.rightlinetrading.com, um, you can uh, click a link and see our daily net equity in the trading room, um, our daily net equity on the auto trader, and um, you will find the link for the um, for the free trial. You can email us at info at rightlinetrading.com, or you can call us at 1-855-765-6681. So it's Friday. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Um, we still had a good week. We made nice money. Um, didn't hit a home run this week, uh, hit a double, but it's really about consistency, staying profitable on a week-to-week -week basis. You don't have to hit a home run every week. Um, you can sometimes um, uh, hit a double, and it's still going to uh, work as long as um, uh, you have week-to-week -week consistency. So listen, everyone, take care, and I hope to see you in the trading room on Monday. Uh, so long.